Hey guys, and welcome back to a Clock Tower. Where we last left off, we uh, got the E ending for Helen. Uh, basically, we turned up to Rick's house, the Stan got shot Scissor Man in the face loads of times. He didn't seem to care that much. Then we got murdered a load of times, trying to fend Scissor Man off with a umbrella, which, considering he can take repeated hits from a handgun, uh, I'm not surprised that didn't go too badly. Or too well, I should say. Until the third time. You know, third time lucky. We managed to lump him over the head with it. Uh, and then we walked past the statue intentionally and left after Rick had unfortunately been heavily savaged by his dog, Victor. Hmm. Beware of dogs. So I've now replayed back through the game. And I have got the statue sent to the library. Just because I want to show the library section off. Uh, it's a bit of a different scenario uh, too. I think it's um, it, I think it's better than the university from what I can remember. There's like more to it. So anyway, let's uh, initiate that. Got any new info? Teach? Do you know a man named Rick? Rick? That sounds familiar. Oh yeah, he's the old geezer that he used to. Be uh, the butler for the Barrows family. The Barrows family. Yeah, we don't need to like see all of this because we, yeah, we saw this in the last episode. Yeah, statue for what? Might just be the key to the secret. Yeah, I have uh, quite a lot of nostalgia for the library. Uh, we do want to get our hands. I can go and get it. You will. All I have to do is talk to Rick and get the statue, right? Nothing to it. Yeah, but. No, it's fine. We will go to the library. Thank you for offering, but Mr. Sullivan at the library may have it. If he doesn't, I'll give you a call. Okay, no problem. Just let me know as soon as you need me. Yeah, unfortunately, um, there is no do-over if you haven't sent it to the library. Scenario 2, Edward. I don't know why this scenario is called Edward. I mean, he's kind of in it, but it seems... Oddly specific. So anyway, here we are. Let's actually put down a save. Now we've finally got ourselves uh, to where we need to be anyway. Yeah, so doing the first two scenarios, I obviously like zipped through them. It took 29 minutes. Holy shit. This is really not a long game if you're going point to point and you know exactly what you're doing. I don't really, especially not here, but I have some notes, so. Let's continue. <clears throat> Excuse me, is Mr. Sullivan in? Mr. Sullivan? He's in the head librarian's office. I see. Thank you. Yes, you don't need to give me any of that sass, young lady. Yeah, I've got a lot of nostalgia for this room. This, this, well, this library area. This room in particular, there's something about it that just stands out to me. Anyway, let's, uh go through the door. I'm assuming this is a lift. I'm not really sure. Seems a bit strange. Oh. Hello. You. Well, if it isn't Edward, what are you doing here? It's boring at the hotel. Hmm. What's the matter? Not enough people to murder. Is Kay with you? No, she isn't. Alright. Oh. Well, okay then. Now nah, he's just going to keep repeating that no, she isn't. Um, right. So let's get out of here. Uh, now this is a not the biggest library in the world, but you know I'm sure it gets them by. Okay. So, Mr. Sullivan, I believe this is his room here. That's up to the clock tower. We don't need to go up there just yet. I'm sure this is Mr. Sullivan's office. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. Okay. Hello, sir. You look odd. You look like a fat controller or something. Hello, Helen. It's been a long time, hasn't it, Mr. Sullivan? 
I've heard about what happened to you. How terrible. Yes. By the way, Mr. Sullivan. Yes, I have heard. There is something you would like to research. I will give you a key to the reading room so you can use the reference materials as you please. That's very kind of you. The reading room is right next door. Oh, and the statue. Oh, yes, that's it. Professor Barton left it with me. Please come pick it up on your way out. Thank you very much, Mr. Sullivan. That's very polite and courteous, isn't it? Very lovely. We can't fondle his stuff whilst he's here. So we're going to have to wait and, you know, maybe something will happen. You know, possibly getting murdered and all that lot. And then uh, I guess we'll be able to have a bit more free roam of the place. Now I can enter the reading room. Yes, we can, Helen. Yes, we can. The reading room. Oh, there's that wonderful music again. I don't know. I mean, I know I'm looking at this game with serious rose-tinted glasses. Right. I know. I get that. But there's something about this game. The reading room. There are many valuable works here. Only available to university personnel. Yeah, this library looks bigger than the one upstairs. I just hope there's something here that will explain the scissor man. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's have a little look. Doesn't seem to be in this area. No? I kid. I know exactly where the books are. It's fine. Oh, actually, we might need to make a note of this, though. Oh, we can't yet. Alright. Metagaming. <clears throat> a stepladder. Yep. A step ladder, all right. Books relating to England are up here. Or up there. Well, that's good. That's where Scissorman's from, so let's have a little look. Even though she obviously looked lower down on the shelves. Lords of Northern England. This is it. Excuse me, but the library will be closing shortly. Oh, uh, I see. In other words, get the fuck out. We're all going home. I found a clue about Scissor Man. Um, I missed that. I was looking over at my tablet, which is apparently telling me that I have to start wrapping up my work. Strange. The clock is ringing. Mm. Oh, Mr. Sullivan. Helen, it seems the bells of the giant clock are broken. Don't sound broken to me. I think I will go check them out. Well, I'll go with you. Thank you. Please follow me. Yeah, hopefully we don't get horribly murdered up here. I love it. It's so good. <laughs> oh man. Oh Jesus. I need a I, I need a minute after that to fucking hell. <laughs> but, you know <laughs> that bit. Jesus. You know it used to like make me panic a little bit when I was a kid because like, oh my god, a man just died. <laughs> and these days I'm like, oh my god, this dumb moron knows that the clock bells are malfunctioning so he decides to stick his head out onto the clock tower with a malfunctioning clock what could possibly go wrong turns out everything could possibly go wrong anyway mr sullivan has been decapitated by his own stupidity a darwin award if you will uh now we need to find some way of getting rid of our friend. I know. We could probably use the uh, the stepladder here to squish him. Okay. Bon appetit, prick. Oop. He 
Steve really is quite easy to defeat. Helen? Ooh. That's Edward's voice. He can't still be here. Oh, dear sweet Helen. But he is. Let's go upstairs. Helen? That's Edward's voice, and it's coming from inside that room. Well, let's go have a look, shall we? Okay. Edward! Edward! <laughs> yeah, let's just call out. Oh, where's the body gone? Not going to question it. Ooh. And there we have some weird mystical voodoo happening. We're going to mash the buttons like crazy so we can escape. <clears throat> yeah, we got some weird voodoo happening here. We're going to run like all the way back. Because we don't really have a lot of offensive options. Actually, maybe we can. Let's go and use the dear departed Mr. Sullivan's office. Yeah, he's got a lamp in here. Hey, sir. <gasps> Boom. He's got to get pretty tired of being roughed up in this manner. I mean, we're kind of kicking his ass all over the place. Now, we want, actually want to go back up to the clock tower because there's a hint up there. Uh... I can't remember what hint it is, but there is a hint. Okay. Now it's here somewhere. Operation panel for the big clock. So, ah, there we go. Something's written on it. Discovered hint number seven. We must have most of the hints by now, I think. Okay. Right, let's go to Mr. Sullivan's office and have a little poke around in there. See if we can find anything. Uh, that door. Now, unfortunately, we have broken a lot of our defensive options, which is worrisome, to say the least. There are many books about archaeology on the shelf. Some of them were written by Mr. Sullivan. Oh, my. A personal computer, the image of Mr. Sullivan struggling amateurishly at the keyboard comes to mind. Yeah, I can only imagine. There are envelopes and documents relating to multiple personalities on the desk. The sender of these envelopes is Professor Barton. How interesting. I really shouldn't look inside. I wonder if there's anything else. Have a look. Let's have a look. Key was inside the drawer. You now have the key to the collection room. I'm sure the collection room is in the back. It certainly is. It certainly is. Okay. So. Oh, yeah. It doesn't actually appear in our inventory, does it? All right. Well, let's have a little look. Um, just going to open the door and then not look inside. Sure. Okay, that's cool. Right. The collection room is where Mr. Sullivan keeps the artifacts he dug up in Egypt. And other places of which he is very proud. Mr. Sullivan has shown you many times, but this time it's pitch black inside. Didn't there used to be an aquarium here? I could use the light from it. Yeah, there is an aquarium here. And guess who's behind the aquarium? Uh, I'm pretty sure that I come through on YouTube. There's Scissor Man. He's waiting for us. I guess it's meant to be like mega dark in here. Hello, ugly bastard. Right, let's get out of here. And there's a statue we need as well. So, yeah. He's just standing there, you know, no fucks given whatsoever. Like, he couldn't care less about our bullshit. 
Okay, so we're going to have to uh, use up another, I'm trying to think, another s hiding spot. So I think we've used everything in there. Uh, nothing we can use in there. Oh, look, there's the clerk that we saw earlier. She's just hanging. It's cool. You don't want to search her. Because if we search her, um, we die. We don't really want to die. I mean, it's not high up on our list of things to do. I guess I could show it off for shits and giggles. Oh, this is a very cool little hiding spot. Very cool. Yeah, he's gone. Oof. That was cool, man. That was really quite tense. You know, as tense as a 32-bit game can actually be, I suppose. And an early one at that. Alright, let's get out of here. Right. What we could do, actually... Uh, let's drop a save there, and let's have a look at the clerk. She's the library clerk. I just saw. Oh, well, she's double dead now. I mean, we've save stated it anyway, but let's see if we can actually hide behind the desk again. Don't know if we can use this area multiple times. We kind of don't really have many defensive options here, which is something to really uh, think about, to be honest. Looks like we possibly can survive this multiple times. All right, that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, nice. So I guess we know that we can always run back here if we need to. But to be honest, we're like pretty much through this bit now anyway. So let's go back and get the statue anyway, because after all, that's what we're here for. Okay, that poor librarian, man, she got fucked. Doesn't seem possible. There were so many people here a moment, a moment ago. Yeah, she got fucked. And not the good kind of fucked. Okay. So, back to Mr. Sullivan's office. Hopefully the derp isn't hiding behind the bloody uh, giant fishbowl again. No, we're all good. We're all good. Oh, there, we can actually, thinking about it, lump him over the head with a dagger that's on the table. Mr. Sullivan probably kept it here. The statue is together with the other artifacts. Thank goodness. There it is. You now have the statue. Since I have what I came for, all I have to do is find a way out. Yeah, well, we'll see what we can do about that. Okay. Strangely shaped pots and other valuable artifacts. Yeah, there's a knife here. I, can't actually, I don't think we can select the knife because technically we're not like in danger or anything. Oh, hi. Really? Really? I I don't think I've seen that one before. That was pretty funny. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. That was pretty funny. Um, I don't think we can do anything in here. Well, let's go hide at the front desk again. See if that works. 
kind of need to think about tying this episode off, really, but we're pretty close to the end of the game now. Uh, end of the game, end of the, um, end of the area, I should say. End of the scenario, there we go. The fucking brain kicked in after seven years of me struggling for the words. Jesus, if this is what I'm, oh. Could we not? Oh my. Oh, yes, we can. For some reason, it wasn't letting me go through there. Okay, you stupid fucker. Let's see if you can uh, find me this time. Three times as a charm. Why doesn't she just crawl under that? Surely that would be quicker. Surely that would be quicker. Right. See, I think sometimes um, some of these areas, Scissor Man isn't always there. It's just complete randomness. I've never seen him bet uh, between those statues before. That was pretty cool. Right, okay. Well, let's check this door anyway. Um, Helen? Helen, no, stop. Hel uh, Helen... Stop. What are we missing here? Ah, yeah. We need to actually, like, lift this up again. This is aged game design right here, guys. I should. No, we don't want to check the computer. I hope it's networked to the outside. Well, maybe it is, Helen. Maybe it is. Very small library when you think about it. Ooh. Who is under there? Actually, we don't want to do that just yet. No, why are you go no no I uh, No. Right. So somebody is under that desk. Which is cool. Yeah, that's fine. It's the way it goes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, somebody obviously trying somewhat hard to be found, but we want to search this one first. Nothing that seems useful. Are you sure? Uh, I bet everybody has gone home. Hmm, something we need. Everything seems normal here. Alright, well we actually need to find something. Edward, I thought you'd still be here. Uh, I think we need to find him it's first. Dangerous here. Come with me. Edward, well, you hide under this table until I call you. Yeah. Yeah. And Edward Bosch you're under there. And don't worry, we'll make it. Whilst you're under there, Edward, try not to murder anybody. Now, remember that vent I told you about earlier? We can search this now. A vent. It's covered with a wire screen fastened with screws. That's it. Edward could fit through it. He's small. Now, if I could just get the screen off. A vent. Yeah, we need a screwdriver. Funny enough, I'm pretty sure the screwdriver is back the way we came. Pretty sure it's in that room. But I don't think we can actually grab it because technically we don't know we need it. Which is annoying. It would have been nice if we could just grab it and be done with it. But there we go. Game design. Um. Right. Yeah, we need to get out of here. Let's see if anything's progressing outside. Ooh. Yeah, this is what I find so nostalgic. A police car siren is heard. Because, uh, Helen, somebody must have called the police. See, I've spoken before about when I was younger and we used to rent games. And this is one of the games we rented. Uh, and we stay up all night. Well, basically for the whole weekend eating coffee and, you know, 
all that good stuff. And we'd rent one game and we'd just play it and play it and play it. And I remember when we rented this game, uh, we got to this section. And obviously, being kids, we were fumbling through this game the best we could. And it, there was something so tense about being here in this section. The cops are literally out the fucking door. But we're still stuck inside. We're so close. Oh, man. It was just real good fun memories. The door cannot be opened from the front. Many policemen are swarming around outside looking for a way in. There are so many people just on the other side of the door. See, it's just so tense. They're right there, ready to bust in and kick some ass, but no. We have to save Edward, because even if we die, Edward can live on and murder people. Okay, so we need to... So I'm sure it's this fucking desk. I wonder if that... Yeah, it is. A screwdriver is in one of the drawers. You now have the screwdriver. Excellent. Let's get out of here. Let's go unscrew the vents, let Edward out, and then we can worry about ourselves. Because, you know, self-preservation isn't a big thing for Helen. She's too busy trying to save this murderer. Admittedly, she doesn't know he's a murderer, so give her some slack for that. But, I mean, come on. Come on. Come on. Right, let's get out of here. I haven't heard from Scissorman for a hot minute, have we? Alright, Edward, try not to, like, stab me in the back whilst I try and save you, yeah? Good lad. Now, one Edward, screw holding it on. Come out from there and come over here. Edward, you can probably squeeze through here to the outside. Hurry, run away from here. Okay, I will. Mm-hmm. Right, now let's see if we can do anything at the front. Okay. Let's go. Oh, fuck. Shit's going... Oh. Hi, Stan. Hey, Teach. What's going on? Oh, nothing. Teach, hang in there. That's a really weird accent. We're just, we're, we're just gonna go with it. So, scenario two cleared. Save data. So we survived, and now we're on to the last bit, the castle. Which, oh boy. Ah, uh, yeah. I mean, the castle. It is what it is, really, isn't it? Um, <laughs> it's just a confusing mess. How many people does Scissorman want to kill? All right, Teach. That's enough questioning. You can go on home now. Yeah, well, Scissorman's kind of not done with uh, you. I just, just want to put that out there. Uh, anyway, guys, I'm going to leave it here. Thank you very much for watching. And when we come back, well, we're going to go off to the end game. Yes, the end game. Again, I like the castle section, but it is a fucking maze that I don't think I will ever get used to. But that's uh, future Ty. Future Ty will have to deal with that one. So thanks for watching, guys, and as always, till next time.